Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and today I'm going to share with you a couple other projects you can make with your two-tone and single color crochet granny squares. So a couple of videos ago, I released instructions on how to make a two-tone and a single color crochet granny square. If you missed those, definitely go back and check them out. I also released just recently the granny star tote bag using both of those blocks, but I had a few other fun projects in mind that I wanted to share with you today. And if you missed it, here is what our two-tone crochet granny squares look like. This one's a little bit bigger than the one I did in the video. In the video, I did three rounds of stitching for these ones. For my uh, projects that I'm gonna be sharing with you today, I actually did five rounds. The method is exactly the same. Um, I just made them a little bit bigger. As a matter of fact, you can make these any size you want by adding as many rounds as you want. You can make them in any color combination that you want. And you guys know that I'm a quilter. And if you're a quilter, this is basically called a half square triangle. And you can do a variety of different layouts with half square triangles and make all kinds of fun shapes. Now, I also released a pattern for the granny star tote bag. I put my little half square triangles in the shape of a star for that. And I have a couple more fun patterns that I'm gonna share with you today. But before we started, I'm gonna pop up a little graphic here. Here is a ton of different layouts and of course there are way more than even just this but I just wanted to give you an idea of some different things that you can do with these little two-tone squares because they are so much fun and the possibilities are endless so I suggest you just make a bunch of them and then play with a layout and come up with pretty much anything unique that you like but here are just a few to get you started all right let's take a look at my other projects that I made so of course I had a bunch of leftovers and you knew I was gonna have to make a pillow. So this is my granny star pillow. This pillow finishes at around 20 by 20 and I just did an envelope enclosure on the back. I do have a video on how to do that so I'm not going to talk too much here but I will show you my process just a little bit because it is different since we're working with a crochet front instead of a fabric front um, but basically pretty similar. So I basically took two pieces of fabric. I made sure they were larger than my crochet piece. My crochet piece, like I said, ended up at about 19 and a half by 19 and a half. And so my pieces that I cut were about 21 inches tall, just to give me some leeway vertically, about 16 inches wide. Then I took one of those raw edges, I folded it under about one inch and then another inch, pressed it really good. And then I just ran two lines of stitching down it just to hold that edge. And that way I have a finished edge where my flaps meet. And I just made two panels that were exactly the same. Then I laid those two panels um, right side up on my sewing table, making sure they overlapped. Mine overlap about 10 or so inches, maybe nine. Um, I wasn't super precise on this, like I said. I was just kind of um, making a backing that would sort of fit what I had going on with my crochet star. Then I went ahead and placed my crochet star on top of those pieces right side down. I pinned it all the way around. And then with my sewing machine, I just stitched all the way around the outside edge. I did use about a 2.0 stitch length and I find it works better if you leave your fabric so that it's pointing down towards your feed dogs and then your crochet piece can be up towards your um, presser foot. Um, if you have it the other way around, it can work, but you can also have an issue with your yarn kind of getting just tangled in your feed dogs and that's never good. So I usually put my fabric down and my crochet piece up. Once I did that, I just went ahead and flipped it right side out. I do have some raw edges on the inside of this pillow. I don't actually care about that, but if you do, you can also run a zigzag stitch or if you have a serger, you can also run that around the inside of that edge to seal it off as well. So you end up with this lovely envelope backing for your pillow and then I just stuffed it with a 20 inch by 20 inch pillow. Now I did not line the front of it. I probably should have because you can see a little bit in here on these corners where the pillow isn't completely filling out the corners. Um, I actually don't care, so I didn't do that, but you could absolutely do that if you wanted. The pillow uses 12 of the two-tone granny squares and then just four of the solid ones, one for each of your corners. But like I said, you can really have fun and make these any design that you want. I just wanted to share with you what it would look like if we turned our two-tone granny stars or squares into a fun pillow. For that pillow, I used my Lori Holt chunky thread and I used just a variety of her fun colors. And then for my background or my white, it's just called cloud. Um, and then I used a crochet hook US size E. Like I mentioned, that finished at 20 by 20 and I will have a PDF pattern available for that pillow. Um, below this, you can also head to my store at store.confessionsofahomeschooler.com 
and search for Granny Star Pillow and you should find it. All right, let's talk about our second project. I wanted to make an afghan. I didn't want to use that same yarn because it is a really, it's a size two weight, which is a sport weight. So um, almost fingering. So it's pretty thin yarn. I didn't want to commit to doing an entire blanket in that. So I did find some other yarn that I loved. It's called Coastal Cotton. It's a cotton, super soft, squishy yarn. It's a thicker yarn. It's an Aran weight yarn. I also used a US size J crochet hook and it just made for a really soft, squishy blanket. I'll put all the colors that I used below and Piney Creek Yarn is actually doing a kit for this afghans. So definitely head over and check with them. They are happy to ship out a kit for you and you can use all the same fun colors that I did or you can even choose your own colors. So I made the Granny Star Afghan, which is so cute. Now this is again, something you can make any size that you want. I went ahead and made four star units and then just sewed those together. And then I did a really fun border around the outside just to kind of finish it off. But let's go ahead and talk about it just a little bit. So just like the pillow and the Granny Star tote, each star takes 12 of your little half square triangles or your two-tone granny squares and then four of your whites one for each corner and then I just assembled them the exact same way I did in my granny star tote video so I am going to refer you back to that one if you need help assembling and sewing the rows together but I assembled them the exact same way I think it would be great for a baby's room or even a toddler and the other thing I made this one really colorful to kind of match the pillow and match my tote bag but I think this would be absolutely beautiful in neutral tones so think about having instead of a white background you could have like this gray background and then you can make all the star points in white I think that would be really cool or even opposite make your blanket white with like a tan or a gray for all of those stars and the border I think that would be absolutely beautiful Beautiful, and it would just be a calm, soothing vibe for pretty much any home and great to throw on your couch. I did want to add a fun border to this. So I went ahead and used the Celeste. It's that kind of icy blue color. I did a round of Celeste just to kind of make the whole thing pop a little bit. And then I finished it off with a bobble stitch around the outside edge. I think it just gives it a nice finished look and it's also really fun to do as well. And it actually went quite quickly, um, a lot faster than I thought it was going to when I first started. So it's a lot of fun. All the instructions for that are going to be in the PDF pattern. My Afghan finished at about 50 8 by 58 but of course that can vary based on the yarn you're using and the hook size and of course like I said you could even add some more half square triangles and make a different design which would also alter the size of your finished afghan so those were just two more fun projects that I wanted to share with you using these half square triangles as you can see I have a lot more of them and so I will probably be making some more fun projects along the way they're a lot of fun to make and they're really easy to take with you if you're going to a knit night or something because they're small they're really easy and so you can just stitch a long as you're talking and hanging out with friends. But I did want to share some more project ideas with you and also share those alternate layout ideas as well because there are so many possibilities when it comes to these little two-tone granny squares. And don't forget that Piney Creek Yarn has kits for both the Granny Star Tote and the Granny Star Afghan in their shop. And then if you have any leftovers, you can make some more fun squares and make them into a fun pillow. Let me know in the comments what you would make with these if you were making them. And also let me know how you're doing on your crochet journey. Have you learned how to make these? Are you just learning? Are you not interested in crochet at all? Let me know in the comments below. That's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps me out. And you can also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming fun. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time.